Hello everyone, welcome to my PE, Mindfulness and Yoga for PE classes. So today we're going to do more of a restorative or a relaxing practice and we're going to incorporate uh, some breath into, um, into this movement. So just come to an easy seat with your legs crossed. If this is too much, you can move the legs out a little bit towards the ankles. But just coming to a nice, easy seat and we're just gonna just start warming up the neck and the shoulders. So just looking straight ahead, you're just going to begin to look down, taking your nose down towards your chest, and then coming back up and taking it all the way back up to the ceiling. So it's just like you're drawing a line with your nose, half circle down to your chest, and then slowly bringing it back up. So just loosening up the neck from sitting at a computer all day. Just trying to open up the heart. And then coming back to center. And then just looking right into the left. So taking it over to the right shoulder, back to center, left shoulder, back to center. Continue over to the right back to center, over to the left, back to center, and then taking your right hand down by your side, you're gonna reach your left arm long, like you're really, really reaching the fingertips towards the ceiling, and then taking a nice side bend here. So really feeling that nice stretch in that side body, and this right hand can either stay here, or you can experiment with this and begin to walk it out a little bit, maybe even coming all the way down to your forearm, taking your gaze underneath your arm here. So just a really nice side body stretch. And then pressing in with that right hand, just coming back to center, taking that to the other side. So that left hand comes down, right arm long, reach for the ceiling, and then begin to take that nice side body stretch. Gaze underneath the arm and then maybe walking that hand out. And then slowly coming back to center, and then just bringing the hands to the top of the thighs here, just rolling the shoulders around a few times. And try to use your breath with this. So on the inhale, shoulders come up by the ears. Exhale, they come down. So think of your shoulders just doing a nice big circle. And on the inhale, you're coming up. On the exhale, release. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release, and then just taking it the other way. So coming around from the back, up towards the ears, exhale, release. Inhale up by the ears, exhale, release. Inhale, two more. And then just taking the body to the side, just nice, big, like we're stirring the pot here, just taking your whole torso around to one side. And again, try to be mindful of your breath here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then taking it the other way. Inhale, nice big half circle. Exhale. Last one. And then coming back to center, nice. So we're gonna come to our hands and knees here, coming to our tabletop position. So your hips are on top of the knees and your shoulders on top of the wrist, so nice flat tabletop here. And on the inhale, we're going to drop the belly and we're gonna lift the gaze towards the sky, arching the back. 
And then on the exhale, you're going to round that spine, press into the earth. So think of a Halloween cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head and heart. Exhale, press into the earth, round the spine. Last time, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. And then from here, you're going to tuck your toes and you're going to send your hips up towards the ceiling to your first downward facing dog. So here, the hips are up high. You're pressing in with your thumb and index finger into the earth. So you're feeling the shoulder blades externally rotate. The heels may or may not be touching. That really doesn't matter. And then just start to walk your dog. So just pedaling the legs, bending the right knee, followed by the left. Just trying to feel some fluidity in the hamstrings, stretching out the calves. So this is really just a full kind of lower body and your upper body. You're really using everything in downward facing dog. And then just come to stillness here. Breath in. Breath out. And then bending the knees, coming back to your tabletop position. So from here, we're just going to stretch out the shoulders a little bit. Your right arm is going to come up high. And then it's going to thread through the back of your left wrist. Your hips are going to stay high and you're going to drop that right shoulder down to the earth. So this is called threading the needle. It's a really nice posterior shoulder stretch. And then this left hand can kind of help you maneuver how deep you want to go into the stretch. You can walk the hand forward a little bit. Just play around with this. Yoga is very much about experimenting what feels good in your body. You always want to go to your edge, but you don't want to go to pain. So just take a couple more breath cycles here. And then we're going to come out of this, so just bring that right arm back through, bring it up high, and then send it back down to meet the left. So other side, inhale, left arm comes up high, exhale, thread the needle, take it behind that right wrist, laying the left shoulder down into the earth, that left cheek is planted into the earth, so this should feel really nice, keeping the hips up nice and high, breath in. Breath out. And then slowly peel out of this. Left arm comes up high one more time. And then slowly bring it down to the earth. And then we're just going to turn around and we're just going to come to a seat here and we're going to come down onto our backs. So just slowly lower down. We're just going to do a hip opener here again. Nice restorative pose. So from here, the left foot is going to be planted into the earth. You're going to bend your right knee, take your right ankle to the outside of that left knee. Take that right hand and sort of press that leg open. So we're working into the hip. Now this might be enough of a stretch for you, or you can interlace the hands behind that left hamstring and flex that left foot as you draw that left knee into the chest using your right elbow to kind of nudge that knee open. So again, just coming to some stillness, remembering to breathe, that's going to calm your nervous system, and it's going to help you get deeper into the pose. And if you can, try to keep your mouth closed during the breathing. So we're breathing through our nose, and I'll kind of explain that a little bit at the end, but you really want to keep the mouth closed and breathe through the nose. Mm -hmm. 
One more breath cycle. And then go ahead and release that left leg down to the earth. And just taking that to the other side. So right foot's going to come into the earth. Left ankle crosses to the outside of that right knee. Same option. You can just use that hand to pry that leg open. Or you can interlace the fingers behind that hamstring, pulling the left knee into the chest, left elbow into the left leg, getting a nice deep hip opener here. So we're keeping the feet flexed here and that's just protecting your knee joint. So just come back to that breath, in through the nose, out through the nose. One more breath. And then slowly lower that right leg down and just uncross the leg. And then crossing at the ankles, just rocking front and back a few times until eventually you're gonna make your way back up to a seat here. And then coming back to the way we started in that cross-legged stance, we're going to do a side twist. So you're going to take your left hand to the outside of the right knee. That right arm is going to cartwheel around or you can just place it behind your back. It should be as cl very close to your sacrum. It's pressing into the earth and then you're using that left hand as leverage to twist back to the right looking over the right shoulder. So twists in yoga are really good for our digestion. Helps kind of stimulate all of your internal organs. It gets blood circulating through your body. And then slowly come back to center, taking that to the other side. So right hand comes to the outside of the left knee. You can cartwheel or you can just take that left arm, plant it behind your sacrum, press it into the earth so that you grow nice and tall. You're extending your spine and that's gonna allow you to twist a little bit deeper. and then slowly bring it back to center. So you should feel a little bit looser in the neck and the shoulders and the hips. So just kind of getting some movement into the body after sitting, after hunched over all day, it's a really good thing to do. So just to end with sort of a, well, it's a mindful uh, breath exercise. So when I said earlier about breathing through the nose, when we breathe through the nose, it kind of, it clears out your sinuses. It also brings um, nitrous oxide into the body, which is a great thing to help just clear out bacteria, clear out viruses. So what I would like you to practice here is an inhale of anywhere between a four and a six count. Five is ideal. That's what you want to go for, um, but depending on where you are, um, you know, breath exercises take some time to practice. So you're going to, with the mouth closed, 
take an inhale of a, and we're, you're gonna count to yourself, a four, five, or six count, and then I want the exhale through your nose to be equal, four, five, or six count. So I will count it for you the first time. So just close your eyes and just listen to my voice so you don't necessarily have to watch me here. Just close your eyes, keep your mouth closed. First of all, just let out all the air. You can open the mouth, let everything go so that you can begin to take a nice deep inhale. So keeping the mouth closed, breathing through the nose for one, two, three, four, Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Keep going, I'm gonna stop counting. I just want you to close your eyes and go on your own breath. And really feel your belly fill up with air on that inhale so that you're breathing through the entire body. And then just let the eyes flutter open. So as you breathe through the nose, it is also an audible breath. So it almost sounds like the ocean, uh, maybe Darth Vader, uh, just that real, and that can be a meditation in and of itself. Just that breath, that noise, that movement. So I hope that you feel a little bit calmer, a little bit lighter, um, and you can you know, feel free to do this video whenever you just need to, uh, to chill to relax, just to feel good and move your body. Have a great day.